I'm trying to do three things now. First, I will introduce the new tech NDI HX PDC camera. Secondly, I'll show you that, wait, not just one, but two Skahoy controllers will work with this camera simultaneously. And three, I want to do it in one take so I can get home for dinner in time. So let's get started and just conclude that when I move the joystick, you see the camera is moving. And the same is true if I use the other controller. So I ha have actually access to the camera. You can also see how smooth the movements are. Basically, I'm just using one controller here. So I can zoom in, turning the joystick, the top of the joystick, zoom out, same way. Let's go down. There you go. And maybe I can switch over and use this joystick. So same thing, I'm rotating to zoom in. Rotate to zoom out. This is all under control. Okay. Two joysticks working on the same camera. And that's pretty amazing. Of course, that is not my fault. That's really new tech's fault. They made a great camera with Sony um, Visca protocol implemented. Um, so, yeah, I, I like it. And... Um, the next thing would be to show how these controllers are not just pan, tilt, zoom controllers. Because so many people does that. We make the best Visca controllers in the world, we think. And one of the reasons is that we know the cameras. So in fact, for this Lumens camera, we know all the settings. Meaning that on our controllers, you'll find access to exposure mode and to um, uh, white balance. To all the settings that is known deep inside this camera. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you right now. So in order to, to do this in a way you can follow, uh, what I'll do is to take the remote control and then I'll bring up the menu for the camera so you can see what happens when I uh, work on the exposure mode. So if you look at this control, you can see that we are currently in the exposure mode menu. And if you want to know how the PDC Pro controller works, uh, you could watch some of the other videos. We have a whole bunch of videos that shows you how this is a preset section. This is normally a camera selector and this is a menu. So I can now go into different parts of the menu. For instance, exposure mode, white balance, color settings, image. And then we have uh, some user defined modes down here where I have mapped some functions into. Um, okay, so that's the PDC Pro. It has been set up to do all this out of the box. So that's the full Monty over here, right? Over here, we have the PDC Fly, and the PDC Fly controller has a reduced set uh, of, of these things. Not because it can do less, you can actually do the same. It's just a matter of how Unisketch is configured. But um, the idea when you have a controller with less buttons and less knobs is that you may want to uh, have a simpler, um, uh, it, it's, it's simpler what you have selected to break out uh, onto these uh, knobs and buttons. So uh, over here, if I press this four-way button on the upper edge, you see I'm cycling through my uh, four menu options. So I have exposure mode menu, I have uh, the white balance mode menu, I have brightness and uh, or color settings, and here I have uh, some focus mode. We'll zoom in so you can see these settings uh, more clearly in a moment. So, but let's go to the exposure mode. So the cool thing is if I go to exposure mode over here, you'll notice that I can change to manual mode right there and see what happens over here simultaneously it will pick up the changes that I just made. So you see, I can change shutter speed on this controller. I'm changing shutter speed, right? And you can see, oh, sorry, I need to go to a different menu so you can see that this is what's happening. Uh, okay, exposure, uh, manual speed. There you go. You have the sh shutter speed right there. So now I'm changing shutter speed using the PTC Fly. Okay, over on the PTC Pro, I can do exactly the same. I'm changing shutter speed. Okay, so you see this perfect correspondence between the two Skahoy controllers talking to the same camera. Thanks to, yes, of course, our technology, the Unisketch system, but also the Sony Visca implementation in the new tech camera. That's just awesome. And um, yeah, I could go on like this. Uh, what I probably want to do now is to uh, zoom in and show you a little bit of the settings on either controller. So we go um, in detail on the PTC Pro first and then over to the PTC Fly. In the exposure menu, you have access to the exposure mode. So as I change the exposure mode, you go through shutter speed, iris mode, whiteboard, which is a special mode that uh, exists in the new tech camera. Uh, this is called smart auto mode. And those are available on this knob. 
Uh, as you can see, it, it changes a little bit what you have access to here. In uh, shutter speed mode, of course, you have only access to the shutter speed. And you can also see uh, the shutter speed is um, uh, changing on the image. Then uh, in manual mode right here, you have also gain settings. If you want to see these things um, in the menu, you can go to gain. You can see I, I turn up gain and that value is reflected also in the interface right there. Okay. So uh, go to white balance mode. You have white balance auto. So we can see white balance auto mode. I change now to indoor mode, outdoor mode, one push mode, uh, auto white balance uh, tracking. Um, here I have red and, and uh, blue gain. So these would then be available in the menu here when I'm in this mode. So you can see red gain here and I have uh, access to it directly from um, this knob. Uh, color settings would be brightness contrast that you find in some of the other menus. Uh, we have saturation, skin tone, uh, here sharpness of the image, noise reduction, 3D noise reduction and picture effects. So picture effects is really um, not very useful in my eyes, uh, black and white, uh, negative art. Uh, there might be a use case somewhere, but definitely not for live production. Then we have gamma mode, uh, black level, uh, power on off. So you can turn the camera on and off if you want. And uh, here we have freeze, mute, um, left, right, reverse, and, and so on. If I do left, right, reverse, we should see an inversion of the image, which is also the case. Yes, okay, and all these things are just cool. Now, um, let's, let's swap this out and then see how the PTC Fly does it. So, here we have the PTC Fly. And uh, in this case, in the exposure mode, uh, as you saw before, we can um, change the, the mode. Uh, likewise, with this encoder knob, and uh, when I get into some of the modes where I can adjust, such as the shutter speed, it's shown in the display here. And I go in this mode, I can change the, uh, the iris, the gain settings, and all these things quite uh, nicely. Okay, let's go to auto mode. I uh, then have this button. And this is really cool. I think we, we should actually zoom in a little bit more so you can see the, the, the graphic here. So the small graphic I put on this button will show you what the, the, the menu button here does or the shift key which it really is, if you press the upper edge on this four-way button, you are changing what happens on, on this level up here. You could have more than four levels. This is just what I picked. So uh, as I repeatedly press here, I'm cycling through those options. Then on, on uh, the lower edge, I'm changing between whether I am selecting my camera one through five, or if I actually have access to the presets. So in this case, you can see I cycle through presets. So when I hit the edges, I'm going forth and back in the preset banks, which I can recall on the camera by just pressing the button. And there you see the camera went nuts and focused on something different. Um, so uh, we'll just change that. If it can figure out what it want to do. Okay. So I need to exit the menu of the camera like that. And then we can move the camera back to focus on us right here. Great. Okay. like that. Okay, so we can follow from the camera. That's cool. Now, um, if we go into the menu here, uh, we will see uh, in the white balance uh, menu, yes, I have access to indoor, outdoor, one push and uh, tracking manual white balance mode. Again, the, the red and blue gain parameters. And these are totally synchronized with the other controller, the PTC Pro. And of course, they are synchronized with the camera. Uh, brightness, contrast, saturation and sharpness and uh, over here speed limit. So I have here access to the focus mode, so I can go to manual mode and then I have a uh, focus ability on this uh, button right there. There you go. If you want to focus manually, otherwise you can go back to auto like you see right there. Okay, so that was the new tech PDC camera with NDI capabilities, a really exciting product. We are very happy NewTek was uh, able to get one to us so we could review it and integrate it with our third party controllers which knows this camera really, really well. We have went through the whole command list and made sure that everything that's relevant for you will be found in Unisketch so you can put it onto your Skyhoy controller and get really cool uh, control in the right form factor. Sometimes you want a big controller, sometimes you want a PTC Fly, which is like a smaller and more uh, simple controller uh, without a lot of nonsense and you can pick just the features you want on the knobs. But still, you have control over those values and not just buttons to 
pump up the iris one bit down and up and and all these things which you know from really um cheaper visca controllers these are visca over ip controllers that will work with all modern uh pdc cameras you'll see coming out these years Let's get this.